Welcome again uh, to Shekinah World, a product of Shekinah International Ministries. I was talking on fulfilling purpose on uh, part one. So please be sure to listen to part one so you can, you can listen to this one because this goes after part one, okay? So I, I welcome you and I was talking about uh, fulfilling purpose. Everybody has a purpose. God created us for a purpose. And that was why he created us wonderfully, beautifully, and creatively. And He wants, he, his desire is for you and I to fulfill our purpose on this earth. And we will, for, purpose, we will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Unfortunately, many people will, not, will end up not fulfilling their purpose. Why? Because some people can procrastinate. Some people can be very disobedient, okay? Some people may not even seek the face of God to be able to know what their purpose in life is. And that is why you and I have to continue to seek the face of God to know what our purpose is. Because God intends to, 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 to hear from us. He's so close to us, you know, that, that we, we, we can think about it, that we can think of. Okay, another reason is that when some people discover their purpose, they get distracted by the devil and they start running another person's race. And I pray that you and I, we will not run another person's race. We will not build another person's house while we leave our house, you know, unbuilt or uncatered for. Amen. So I pray that we will discover our purpose. Amen. And we have to go, before we can discover our purpose, we have to have a relationship, close relationship with God, intimate relationship with God. As a Christian, you need to hear the voice of God. You need to have the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, that, that wants to communicate with us at all times. Amen? So, uh, uh, like jo Joseph, Joseph was able to, 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 to be in tune with God. And that's why the Bible records that every step of Joseph's way, every step that he, he, he took, God was with him. God was with him. And that was why his gifting, his talent manifested. Joseph's talent, you know, was to interpret dreams and administer resources. He managed Potiphar's resources so well that Potiphar put all his possessions in Joseph's care. Amen, somebody. Somebody under the sound of my voice tonight, your, your talent will be manifested in the name of Jesus. Say, I shall manifest my talent. I shall manifest my gifting. So I will be able to do what? To fulfill the calling of God upon my life. Why? Because the calling of God upon your life, my life, is the purpose of God for us. Amen. Joseph, as a, as a case study, was also able to interpret, you know, dreams for his fellow prisoners. And he interpreted uh, Pharaoh's dreams correctly. Amen? So, thank God for God. Joseph's purpose was to, to save the nation. And your purpose may be the same, but we need to know God. We need to get closer to him. And my brothers and sisters, as we are, as we are transitioning into September 2022, please, I beg of you, I beg of you, do not live without discovering your purpose. Okay? And that was why Joseph said, even to his siblings, his siblings who, who, who thought it was, it was over with Joseph, they never knew that he, was, he would be alive. And when they saw him, in fact, they knew that they made a mistake of their life. And somebody under the sound of my voice, your enemies will know that they made a mistake of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. So they were starving. They almost starved to death. And that is what God does. Though. God makes sure he does what, whatever he wants to do. And God makes, makes sure that if he, he follows up on his plan, Nobody can circumvent uh, God's plan. No? And God will not change his standard because of you and I. Whatever he says he will do, he will do. That's why his name is Jehovah. Nobody can change him. He is unchangeable. 
So my brothers and sisters, as we transition into September, let us give God a chance in our life. Let us give him all it takes so we can be able to fulfill our destiny. Come with me with uh, Genesis. Um, uh, well, Joseph was telling his brother, but God meant it for good to, to save you guys. God has preserved me for a time as this so I can be able to keep you alive. And somebody, you will be able to share such testimonies in the name of Jesus. So when you have discovered your giftings, ah, work on it, ask God, thank God for it, and start working on it. Don't play with your purpose. Your purpose in life is very, very important. My brothers and sisters, like I said, the only way you can fulfill your purpose in life is to run to God. Run to God. And I, you cannot be selfish. Okay? You must be selfless. And you need to submit totally to God so you are able to, to, to fulfill your purpose. And I pray that you will fulfill your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. The only one of Israel will be your supporter. He will be your advocate. He will be your, your teacher. He will guide you. And you will fulfill your purpose in life in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray because this is very important to me. As you, 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 are, trying, you are trying to fulfill your purpose, the, the covenant of God, the purpose of God in your life, shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. And as you, you, you submit your life totally to him. That's why the songwriter say, my life, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give my life. I give my life to you. You need to submit your life unto him. You need to give your life totally to him. Let him know that without him you are nothing. Or is there anybody under the sound of my voice that you have lost your purpose? Restoration is in the uh, restoration is, is here for you. God is restoration. He will restore you in the name of Jesus. He will He will restore you more than more than you can even imagine. Okay, God of restoration is in is is still doing his business. He's still doing his work, and he will He will restore you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. He is our God. He faileth not. Say it to yourself. That God faileth not. And he will not fail you. Amen. He will not fail you. Get out of the, the, the disobedience group. And get in line. Fall in place. Fall into, into the camp of Jesus. Okay. As you fall into the camp of Jesus, everything, everything will be working for you. In the name of Jesus. Say amen, Pastor Princess. Everything, everything that your heart desires, the Lord will do for you in the name of Jesus. Let us know that, let, let us put it at the back of our mind, that our destiny is important. Our purpose is important. The purpose of God for us is important, and it shall manifest. Say it to yourself. It shall manifest in the name of Jesus. The purpose of God for me, for my family, for my children, shall manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Say it to yourself that restoration, restoration is my portion. Amen. Fulfilling purpose is my portion in the name of Jesus. Amen, my brothers and sisters. So I pray for you as you will transition into 2020, uh, September 2022, the Lord will turn our situation around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will turn misfortune to fortune concerning us in the name of Jesus. Uh, this September will be a great month, month of, of, of joy in the name of Jesus. The Lord will, to, to, will turn sorrow, sorrow to joy concerning us. Money shall be turned into dancing in the name of Jesus. We will become references, you know, of, of prosperity, of peace and joy in the name of Jesus. And our loss will turn to what? Restoration. Like I said, restoration is coming to you this month of September in the name of Jesus. Your sickness will turn into divine health for you. 
Your tests will become testimonies. Your trials will become triumphs in the name of Jesus. Poverty will become prosperity concerning you. Lack will become abundant. Expectation will turn into manifestation concerning you and your family in the name of Jesus. Nothing to something shall be for you. No more stagnation. Stagnation will turn into elevation. And you will, you will turn from a sinner. You will become a saint in the name of Jesus. You will move from zero to hero. As you, you go into this month of September, month of September will be a month of testimony for you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. You will go from joy to joy immeasurable. Uh, from joy immeasurable to joy unspeakable in the name of Jesus. You go from failure to success. So God doesn't breed uh, uh, failures. Jesus was successful and is still successful. And we are, the, we are the children of Yeshua. So success awaits us in the name of Jesus. We will go from disgrace to grace, from stagnation to promotion, from gain, to, from pain to gain, from story to glory. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lastly, you will go from condemnation to commendation. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. As we go in the course of this, this week, and as we get into 20, 20, uh, uh, September 2022, the grace will speak for us. The grace of God will speak for us. The grace of God will go before us. This gra grace of God will come behind us. The grace of God will be beside us and everyone that concerned us in Jesus' name. Amen. And you will share your testimonies with me in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. No sorrow, no sadness in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Stay blessed, stay renewed, because Jesus loves you. And submit totally to him so you can fulfill your purpose in life. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy new week and happy new month of September 2022. Go for gold. Go for diamond. Go, go, go. Go for diamond in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. God bless you. Bye. Pastor, princess, I didn't care. I could already allow you. God bless you. Bye.